So in a previous tutorial, I told you guys how to set up a blend space inside of Unreal Engine. So today what I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do, I'm actually going to be teaching you guys how to blend between two different blend spaces inside of Unreal Engine. As you guys can see, when I equip my sword, I have a totally different blend space compared to when my sword is not equipped. Now this is super easy to do, so let's go ahead and take a look at the code and jump right into it. Alright, so the first thing we're going to be doing, we're actually going to be creating a brand new action mapping. For me, I have an action mapping called Equip Sword. If you don't know how to create an action mapping, what you guys want to do is you want to click on Edit. We're going to go down to project settings and then inside of project settings we're going to go to input we're going to click on this little icon right here which is going to allow you to create a brand new action mapping and then you just name or set it to whatever you want and whatever key press you want it to be for me i have it as set to sword equip and then i have it set to the key press when i scroll up and down on my mouse wheel all right, so then the next thing we do is we're actually going to be going back to our gun sword class. Now, inside of our gun sword class, we're actually going to be getting a reference to that input action mapping that we just created. For me, it's equipped sword. I already have the node right here. And then once I do that, the next thing I'm actually going to be doing, I'm actually going to be clicking on this little node right here, which is going to take me over to the code that I have set up for this equipped sword input action mapping. So I double click on this. As you guys can see, that I have a Boolean variable called is sword equipped. Now, what a Boolean variable does, it just determines if something is true or false. In order to create a Boolean variable, you click on this little icon right here, and then it will just create a brand new boolean variable for you and just rename it to whatever you want and then i have a branch now branch is something that you use with boolean variables it's to determine if something is either true or false in order to create a branch what you guys want to do is right click and you just want to type in branch or you can either sit there and hold down on the b key and left click and it'll just be like a little shortcut a hot key in order to make a branch and then from there, what we're gonna actually going to be doing is we're actually going to be dragging from true, and I'm actually going to be setting my is sword equip variable. Now, how you set variable inside of Unreal, just drag the variable in and then just click set. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm actually going to be setting this variable to true, determining that my sword is equipped. And then I'm actually going to be playing a high priority montage for you. It's just going to be typing in play montage. So you're going to be playing an animation montage because you guys are not going to be having a high priority montage inside of your code. I'll make a whole separate tutorial explaining what high priority montages are. So once you guys do that, the next thing you want to do is you just want to sit there and click on this little icon right here and get a reference to the montage that you're going to be playing. So for me, because the sword is equipped and I want press, I want to unequip my sword. So this icon right here, when it comes to my montage, I have it to an unequip montage. And then we're actually going to be going to the false condition. Now, if I scroll down to look at false, you guys can see that my is sort of quit variable is set to false. And then I have another high priority montage for you. Like I said, it's going to be an anim montage. And then I have this set to equip montage. So this is going to be playing the equip montage for my sword once it's done. So I'm going to go ahead and compile this. So once everything finished compiling, the next thing we're going to be doing, we're actually going to be going over to our character's animation blueprint class. So inside of my character's animation blueprint class, you guys can see that I'm inside of my local motion state. Now inside of my local motion state, I have a new state right here, which is called idle walk underscore run. If I double click on this, as you guys can see that I have a reference to both my blend spaces that I created which is going to be my run blend space and then I have a reference to my sword run blend space and then I also have a reference to a little node right here called blend by bool pose now the way you get this node you just type in blend by bool and basically what a blend by bool does it just determines that something is either true or false so let's say for example right if my character does not have his sword equipped then we're going to be playing this animation blend space right here now if my character does have his sword equipped we're actually going to be playing this animation blend space right here now in order to get this to work what i have to do is i have to create a brand new variable by clicking on this little icon right here and i have to actually sit there and i have to get a reference to my period characters for me i have one already set up now this is going to be the type variable type of a pawn and then from there i'm actually going to be dragging off this little node right here and i'm going to be casting to my gun sword class and then for my gun sword class i'm going to be dragging off this little node right here as gun sword class and i'm actually going to be getting a reference to is my sword equipped and then my sword equipped variable i'm just going to be setting it up to this little variable right here and i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to hook this up right here now as you guys can see i have these basically true blend time now this is determines how long it takes for an animation to blend to another animation for me i had a set up to 0.3 because it works the best for my game now you can set it up to whatever you want but it's usually set to zero when you go ahead and create that brand new blend by bullet pose variable now the next thing we're actually going to be doing we're actually going to be going over to our event graph now inside of our event graph the event graph is pretty much the same when it comes to setting it up as a blend space but we just have to make a quick little adjustment so the first thing we're actually going to be doing we're actually going to be getting a reference to our player character that we made earlier with we're going to be dragging this in we're going to be setting it and then we're just going to take try to get point over we're going to connect this to this little node right here and then from there we're actually going to be sitting there dragging off this little node right here and we're going to cast to our character and then from there we're going to take this little node right here as character and then we're going to be casting to our gun sword class character 
and then from there everything should be set up perfectly fine and if I go ahead and I compile this now if you guys notice if I go ahead and equip my sword you'll see that my character plays his sword equip blend space and if I unequip my sword I'll go back to playing the blend space that I have set up for my character does not have his sword equipped so I hope I explained everything very thoroughly if you guys are running into any issues let me know down below in the comment section also make sure you guys like the video as well as subscribe to for ghost entertainment for more game development tutorials and I'm gonna see you guys on the next one